Hey, this is Chris with VidSociety.com, and in this video, I'm going to do a Sonority review for you. Now, what Sonority is, is it's an app or a web-based tool that lets you turn text into speech uh, with really good quality, and then lets you add unique and copyright-free audio to that as well. So you can use these for video sales letters, you can use them for product reviews, uh, storytelling, whatever it might be. And I've actually created several demos that I'm going to let you guys listen to. And I'm also going to jump in here and show you how to create a full audio track with background music using Sonority. So before I jump into this, there will be a link below this video. It'll take you to my website where you can learn more about Sonority, the upsells, pricing, and even pick up some bonuses if you happen to buy it through my website. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Okay, so when you sign up for Sonority, this is what you're going to get. Now, depending on the upsells, that you purchase you may or may not have everything that i have you may have more than what i have so be sure to check out those upsells and what they are on my website there's even uh, an option for an unlimited version okay so when you log in this is what you're going to see you're going to see the voice tracks that you've created music tracks you've created and then when you combine these two together you also have it creates audio tracks and so all those are going to be listed here where you can view all of them for each one of them and so what you want to do first is when you come in here you want to create a voice track so when you click on voice track you're going to give it a name you're going to search for a speaker or in, and their language so there's all different kinds of languages here as you can see uh, for me I'll just use American you can choose male or female and then you can also search by tag you'll notice down here they have tags under their name so if it's someone who you know maybe uh, an adult, somebody who sounds excited or whatever it is, you can put that in there and it'll help to only show those. I usually leave this empty and I'm going to click search. Okay, so you can see we have 28 different speakers. Now there are a lot of these. Some of these sound amazing. Some of them sound robotic. So with many of these other tools that you get that are text-to-speech, you're going to have a little bit of a mix. And so just to kind of give you an idea of some of them that sounds a little bit different, I'll play a couple for you. Oh there, I am one of many human-like voices from... Hello there, I am one of many human-like voices from... So this is like a cartoon character. Hello there, I'm one of many human-like voices from... This one sounds robotic. But you can go through here and you can find some that sound really good. And I'll give you an example of one that I really like. And this one here, Christopher Joan, I want you to listen to him just for a second. Let me turn my volume up. Hello there. I am one of many human-like voices from Sonority. You can make me read a script, an article, or pretty much anything you like. I would be... Okay, so his sounds really good. So depending on which one you get, uh, and it also depends on what you're trying to create. Maybe if you're trying to create... A kid's book you would want more of a cartoonish voice or if you're creating a ghost story like I'm going to show you here in a minute you'd want to create you'd want to use maybe the first one which is the one that I used when I created mine but all you have to do when you set up one of these so let me go back to the beginning here is you're going to choose your speaker and then here you're going to enter your script that you want him to speak and then once you do that you're going to click generate voice and surprisingly it doesn't take very long at all to generate these and so some of the ones that I've already done I'm going to let you listen to this one here you'll see it says VSL that stands for video sales letter it's just a couple short sentences that I added for a male this one's for a female this is a ghost story audio track and then I've done one for a story for Cinderella so I'll go ahead and play these so you can listen to them have you ever wished you could work from home and earn a full-time income Imagine being able to travel the world and working from any... Have you ever wished you could work from home and earn a full-time income? Imagine being able to travel the world and working from anywhere. Is a Sato a figure? Writes his peripheral vision. This feeling of dread and amnesia is washed over. Cinderella is one example of classic fairy tales for kids. One... Okay, that's one I actually didn't care too much for. I'm going to delete that one. Cinderella is one example of classic fairy tales for kids. Once there was a hardworking girl with a heart of gold and a wicked stepmom. That one sounds really good. Cinderella is one example of classic fairy tales for kids. Once there was a hardworking girl with a heart of gold. Cinderella is one example of classic fairy tales for kids. Once there was a hardworking girl with a heart of gold and a wicked stepmom. 
Okay, so that gives you a few ideas of some of these different voices in here, and there are a lot of different ones. I believe there's a total of around 150. Most of them are American, but you can also choose Australian, uh, male or female, and then there's like, there's like three speakers in here for Australian. There's also British. You can see here for male, there's five, and then you can choose female, and then there's six here for that. So, but the best ones that I have found are American, uh, but obviously if you choose a different language here, you're gonna find some other good ones in there too. Okay, so once you have your, uh, your audio here created for the text-to-speech, you're gonna give it a name, and once you find one you want, you're gonna generate voice, and it's gonna save it to your voice tracks. Anytime you wanna view your voice tracks, you can come up here and click on My Tracks, and you can view them. But before we go and move on to that, we're gonna go back to Dashboard. And now we want to create a music track to add to the voice track. So it just really makes it pop and stand out. So we're gonna click that. You're gonna enter a name for your music track. You're gonna choose the duration of how long you want it to be. So if you click this, you can choose, you can see here in 15 second intervals, or you can choose custom, and you can enter the duration here. Uh, the maximum duration, I'm not sure if there is a maximum on that or not. I noticed with some of these, I've went through a lot of these, and some of them are really good. They are 100% copyright free, which means you can use these on anything and not worry about copyright issues, which is really good. But some of these, uh, they just kind of repeat themselves over and over and over again. So you may have to go through, listen to quite a few of these before you ever find one that you want to use. And there are a huge variety here. So uh, what you're gonna do is first of all, choose a category. You can see there's emotions, spotlight, and every time you choose one, it's gonna change the style down here. So we can go to frigid, athletics, or styles, which gives you a lot of options. And then when you choose a style, you also have options under mood that you can choose. So we can choose like homestead. You can see here, there's a lot of different ones. We could do something like deep house, and we could go down here and click on play. And what it's going to do, it's going to spin around for a few seconds. It's going to create something for us, and then it's going to play it. So we'll give it a few seconds here. Okay, now a word of advice and something that I found out, especially if you're going to come up here and you're going to do a custom duration of, say, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or even two minutes, is when you don't like an audio and you want to refresh to try to find another one, make sure you click the pause button first because if you don't, and if you just click refresh, it's gonna continue playing the current uh, audio and you have to wait for it to finish before you can play the next one. So you always wanna click pause before you come over here and click refresh for another one. And so what refresh does is basically creates a different soundtrack for you or a different audio track. So every time you come in here and you click one of these, and if you say this one here, we'll, we'll click play, we'll give it a few seconds to render and come up with an audio for us. Let's say I don't like that. I'm gonna click this here to stop it first, and then I'm gonna come over here and regenerate to get another one. And so this is what makes this great because these audio tracks are all unique. It creates them on demand. So, every, so everybody's gonna have their own unique tracks to add to their videos. So once you find one of these that you like, you're gonna click save music. And what that is gonna do is it's going to save your music tracks and we've already have voice tracks we saved. So what we need to do now is put them together into an audio track. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna give it a name. Now on this page, there are sound effects and some of these are really good. What I don't like is they don't have a search feature here. So if there's one that you like or you wanna search for it, you just have to scroll down until you find it. Uh, there's some in here that, uh, well, let me just give you a couple examples. So there's thunder, space aliens, Terror transitions, campfire burnings. Uh, there's just all kinds of different stuff in here. Alarm clocks, bomb droppings that you can add to it. Now, the thing about sound effects that I don't like is you can't position them in a certain place in your video. At least if you can, I haven't found out how to do that yet. So what you wanna do is you come down here and the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to add your background track. 
So you can listen to all the ones you created by clicking play. Okay, so this is your background music. You're gonna drag the one you want over, put it in background, and then you're gonna go down to your voice tracks and you're gonna find the one you want of those that you wanna use. Have you ever wished you could? Have you ever wished you? And then the one you want, you're gonna click and you're gonna drag it and put it under tracks. And then you're gonna click save and it's gonna merge these two together. Now, if you do wanna add sound effects, so I can take, let's say this one here, I can drag it down and I can put it under tracks. And you can see it places it here, but there's really no option as to where you want this sound to take place within that audio. So I'm, I usually don't use these. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. But when you're done, you click save. Then when you click save, you'll wanna refresh the page. And when you scroll down, it's gonna create the finished audio tracks. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and play four of them that I completed that you guys can listen to. Two of them are for video sales letter, a male and a female. I done like a short ghost story one and then one for Cinderella. So I'm just gonna play a few seconds of each one of them. Have you ever wished you could work from home and earn a full-time income? Imagine being able to travel the world and... Have you ever wished you could work from home and earn a full-time income? Imagine being able to travel the world and working from... Is a satire figure writes his poetical passion, his feeling of dread and the nation is washed of my I actually really like this one. The background music, the spooky background music with the deep voice of the guy, it just, it makes it really sound good. And then the last one's for Cinderella. Cinderella is one example of classic fairy tales for kids. Once there was a hard little girl with a heart. Now, obviously you don't have to create uh, a full audio track with the uh, music track and the voice track. You can come up, come up here to your tracks and you can see all of your voice tracks. You can just download those if you only want those. You can download the music tracks only or the audio tracks. So everything can be downloaded separately. And if you don't like them, you can click the delete button or you can click edit and it takes you in. So where you can go back in and edit it. Maybe you want to change the speaker. Maybe you want to change some words and create a new one. Uh, it's totally up to you and, and everything is customizable. So this is Sonority. Uh, my opinion, it's a really good tool uh, but like I said, you just got to be careful because with any of these text-to-speech tools, you're going to find a lot of these uh, text-to-speech voices that are going to be robotic. Uh, but this one I found has some really good ones in there that uh, they don't sound too very robotic at all, as you can uh, hear from some of these that I created. So that was uh, very impressive. And then the benefit of adding the audio track to it even makes it sound that much more human. So that's it for Sonority. Be sure guys that you check out the link below this video so you can get more details on the upsells, uh, what they are and how much they cost before you buy them just to make sure if you do invest in this, you know what your cost is going to be. Uh, but this is my Sonority review. If you guys enjoyed it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and I will notify you when I put out new reviews of products. Thanks.